From the center square, Jim J. Bullock. From Fox Network's Lake Show, Ross Schaefer. From Comedy Impressions, Michael Winslow. From music superstardom, Glenn Campbell. From her syndicated column, Dr. Joyce Brothers. From Glamour and the Screen, Princess Zsa Zsa Gabor. From Police Academy 5, Leslie Easterbrook. From the Hogan family, Edie McClure. And me, I'm God's gift to radio from New York City. I'm Howard Stern. We are the new Hollywood Squares. And here's your host, star of America's Top 40, Shadow Stevens. Hello, stars. <laughs> Oh, please, 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 enough, enough, oh, no. Welcome to the new Hollywood Squares. John Davidson and Joan Rivers are both out entertaining America in person, but they'll be back next week. In the meantime, it's you and me, Jim. <laughs> Let's Those meet our contestants. big shoes to fill. You what? Big shoes to fill. Yeah, mighty big shoes to mm. fill. I used other shoes, just, oh. just to be safe. The object of the game is simply to win a tic-tac-toe, three squares across, down or diagonally, or to acquire the most squares you can. Our first two games are worth $500 each, and after that, Ooh. each game will be worth $1,000, and whoever wins the most money at the end of the show will have a chance to drive away in one of these beautiful Buicks. Ooh. As always, our challenger starts. Now, remember, the way you earn a square is by determining if the celebrity is giving a correct answer. Stephen, you got your work cut out for you. Uh, Glenn Campbell, please. Glenn Campbell! Yes! Hi, Shadow! Hi, uh, Glenn. Glenn, where does most of America's imported beer come from? Oh, the Circle K stores, probably, Shadow. Uh, <laughs> you know, that's a good question. Because I quit drinking beer, really, actually, about... Uh, a year and a half ago. I lost 12 pounds. I lost all my friends. Yeah. <laughs> Where did that come? I, I see. I would say Mexico, Denmark. I'd say Denmark. Denmark. Stephen, he says Denmark. I'll disagree. All right. Disagree. You disagree? Well, it's Mexico. Mexico. 27% of our imported beers. Uh, Netherlands is 26% and Canada at 22%. X mm. gets the square. Yeah, it's love. Well, you a square. Glenn Campbell for the block. Glenn Campbell for I'm the block. Ready. Okay, Glenn, how about a little of your current hit record? Okay. Okay. And the flowers of the early April rain. Believers have what they've never seen. And the dreamers have tomorrow if today does not come true. And you have eyes that shine. Yeah. One of your biggest all-time hits was By the Time I Get to Phoenix. Now, if you took a non-stop flight from Los Angeles to Phoenix, how long would it take by the time you got to Phoenix within 15 minutes? Oh, within 15 minutes. I can tell you, today it took me exactly one hour and about seven minutes. One hour and seven minutes within 15 minutes. Bonnie, what do you think? I agree. Well, good! <laughs> it don't take long to an hour and 15 me. minutes. An hour and 15 minutes, or an hour and 15 minutes. And Stephen, today you've won $1,100. $1,100 in cold, hard Hollywood Squares cash and the chance to drive away at a beautiful Buick. Which one will it be? The Skyhawk. The Skylark Coupe. The Regal. The Skylark Sedan. The Le Sabre. I'll try the Le Sabre, please. Is going to take the Le Sabre. Yeah. Well, one of our nine celebrities has that key that will start the Le Sabre. Who are you going to choose? Edie McClurg, please. Edie McClurg. Okay, Edie McClurg and the beautiful Le Sabre and that key in just a moment. Well, Stephen has chosen Edie McClurg as his key celebrity and Glenn Campbell and Ross Schaefer as his good luck celebrity in this beautiful Le Sabre. Tell us about it, Howard. And the Buick Le Sabre is a contemporary aerodynamic automobile with six-passenger comfort and a vacation-sized trunk. It's the great American family car, Le Sabre, furnished by Buick. 
And the Lesaver is worth $17,160. Good luck. On the count of three, we'll give it a try. One, two, three. I'm so sorry, Stephen. Stephen. Tomorrow, we'll, you'll have a chance to win more and try again for one of these beautiful Buicks. Thank you, Squares. We'll see you tomorrow on the all-new Hollywood Squares. <laughs> Some of our departing contestants will receive the following. And here is your host from Hollywood's Top 9 to American Top 40, it's Shadow Stevens. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Catherine, pick a square. Glenn Campbell, please. Glenn Campbell. This is for the block. Okay. Glenn, yes. According to the World Book, do flies serve any useful purpose? Boy, howdy. Only to the manufacturers of the fly swatter, I guess. <laughs> Boy, that is a good question. I know I was born and raised on a farm, man, and them flies, they, they, they blow everything on a farm. I mean, you just name it. As soon as it's there. That, I would say yes, that they are good for something. Well, Glenn says yes. What do you think? I'll disagree. Well, I'm so sorry. It's yes. Similar to bees, some flies carry pollen from one flower to another. We can't put an X there. You have to earn it yourself. Catherine, so Stephen, pick a square. Glenn Campbell for the win. Glenn Campbell for okay, the win. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right, Glenn, one of the world's largest and most beautiful parks is called Cockadoo. Mm -hmm. Cockadoo. Will you mm. find Cockadoo <laughs> in North America, Africa, or the land down under? I suppose if you didn't watch where you were walking, you could find it just about anywhere, Shadow, couldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Cockadoo. I would say that that park is one of the most beautiful ones in the world. It's probably Australia. Australia. Glenn says Australia. I'll agree. You'll agree? Well, it's a large national park in Australia. Down <laughs> Secret Square Game is next. Don't go away. Huh? All right, Catherine, pick a square. Glenn Campbell. Glenn Campbell. All right. This is for the win. We've all heard of body language. Here's a question about tail language. Hmm. Your cat's tail. Your cat's tail is sticking upright and quivering. <laughs> is hmm. this a good sign? You know, I think it's a. If he's, he's probably wanting to go to the kitty litter. So you're saying... Yeah, to, yes, to yes. cockadoo. Okay, Catherine, Glenn says yes. Could you repeat the question, please? Your cat's tail is sticking upright and quivering. Is this a good sign? And he said yes. And he said, yes, it's a good sign. I'll disagree. Well, I'm sorry. Yes, it's a good sign. It indicates he really likes you. There's no you. beginning to this man's knowledge. <laughs> Stephen, pick a square. Glenn Campbell, please. Glenn Campbell! Thank you. Okay, now, Glenn, songwriters have always had a tremendous fascination in writing songs about the moon. What famous band in the swing area, area <laughs> the swing era, used Moonlight Serenade as its theme? Oh, boy, that's a, that was a great era. That was an era where I was kind of, I, I remembered it a little bit. And uh, I think it was my namesake. I think it was the fabulous Glenn Miller that did Glenn Moonlight Miller. Serenade. This is for the block. What do you think, Stephen? I'll agree. Good. It was Glenn Miller. <laughs> X gets the square, Catherine pick a square, and our winner wins $1,700 today in cold cash and the chance to drive away in a beautiful Buick. Which one will it be? The Skyhawk, the Skylark Coupe, the Regal, the Skylark Sedan, or the LeSabre. Well, the Skylark Coupe. The Skylark Coupe. Okay. Now, wave your keys. One of our nine celebrities has the key that will start the Skylark Coupe. Who are you going to choose? Leslie Easterbrook, please. Leslie Easterbrook. Okay. In just a moment, Leslie Easterbrook and her key in that beautiful Skylark Coupe. We'll be right back. Catherine has chosen Leslie Easterbrook as her key celebrity and Dr. Joyce Brothers and Michael Winslow as her good luck celebrity and this beautiful Skylark Coupe. 
Tell us about it, Howard. And the Buick Skylark offers a large amount of quality and value in a compact automobile designed for efficiency. Trim, stylish, and aerodynamic. It's the Skylark Little Limousine furnished by Buick. Shadow? All right, the Skylark Coupe is worth uh, $13,600. Where are you? You're out there. $13,600. Good luck. And on the count of three, help me out now. One, two, three. Well, I'm so sorry, Catherine, but you can come back tomorrow and win as much money as you want. Join us tomorrow again on Hollywood Squares. Good night, everybody. Some of our departing contestants will receive the ball. And here's your host, Shadow Stevens. Catherine, pick a square. Glenn Campbell, please. Glenn Campbell. Thank Hi, you. Glenn. Yes, Shadow. According to the IRS, how often do they admit they make mistakes on questions about your tax returns? 10% of the time, 20% of the time, or 40% of the time? Never! Oh, well, in my case, they don't miss a penny. Among that and others. I would say that's a, that's a loaded question. I would say that it should be around 10 to 15% that they would, they would admit, I would think. 10 to 15%, Catherine, do you agree? I'll agree. Well, they say they give wrong answers almost 40% of the time. Wow. Whoa! X gets the square. Glenn Campbell, please. Glenn Campbell! Yeah! yeah. Well, now, Glenn. Yes, Shadow. Catch, sloop, and y'all are all types of what? I would say them with southern greetings, but, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I recognize... <laughs> I recognize I I the had tree. You're blooming very well. No, I didn't recognize the other two, but y'all is definitely. I would say that it's a uh, seal. Seals. Okay, Catherine, you think? I disagree. That? You disagree. Well, good. good it's sailboats. <laughs> <laughs> Circle sailboat. Yes, yeah, Todd, biggest square. Michael Winslow. Todd. Well, hey, you won seven hundred dollars today yeah. in cold hard Hollywood Squares cash, yeah. and the chance to drive away in a beautiful Buick. Which one will it be? The Skyhawk. Skylark Coupe, the Regal, the Skylark Sedan, the Little Sabre. What will it be, Todd? <laughs> the Little Sabre. The Little Sabre. Well, one of our nine celebrities has a key where we'll start that Little Sabre. Who are you going to choose? Look at those keys. Jim J. Bullock. Jim J. Bullock. Okay, Jim J. And the key. To the Lesabre, we'll be right back. Ooh. Todd has chosen Jim J. Bullock as his key celebrity and Leslie Easterbrook as his good luck celebrity and these beautiful Lesabre. Tell us about it, Howard. Thank you, Shadala. The Buick Lesabre is a contemporary aerodynamic automobile with six passenger comfort and a vacation sized trunk. It's a great American family car, Lesabre, furnished by Buick. Shadow? Yes, the Lesabre's worth $17,160. Good luck on the count of three. We'll give it a try. Help me out here. One, two, three. Oh. I'm sorry, but you've won $700. You can come back tomorrow and win as much money as you want. Good luck. We'll see you tomorrow on the only Hollywood Square. Some of our departing contestants win. And here he is from the square number two. Burn Ticket Square. Glenn Campbell, please. Glenn Campbell. Okay. Thank you. Glenn's new album is on MCA called Light Years, right? Yes. Jimmy Webb, great writer. Uh, great. Now, Glenn. Yes. Out of the five tallest skyscrapers in the world, three are found in one city. What city is it? Delight, Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest thing we got there is two stories, Shadow, actually. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, but trust me on this one. I've been there. There's uh, New York. There's uh, other places. But I tell you, Chicago, Illinois, has the tallest skyscrapers I have ever seen. All right. He says, Glenn says, for the block, Chicago. Corin, do you agree? I'll agree. She agrees. Good and she's you. right. Oh, Circle gets a square Chicago. New York is second with two. Todd, pick a square. Glenn Campbell. 
Glenn Campbell. Okay. Nice little question for you, real simple. Does a frog have teeth? Does a chicken have lips? <laughs> Does a frog have teeth? I, I would say no, because I used to... My dad done a lot of fishing, and, uh, you know, the frogs, they got a big, long tongue they can reach out and zap things with, so they really don't need to swallow it. So I would say, if I had to do it logically, I would say, no, a frog does not have teeth. Huh. Well, Todd, he says, no, a frog does not have teeth. What do you think? I'm going to agree. He agrees. Well, yes. They have teeth, but they use them they just do. to hold food, not to chew. I'm so sorry. Uh, Circle gets a square on that. Well, I never saw one. Work. I never saw a frog chewing in my life. That's why I said. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Corn so, corn. why you've won twelve hundred dollars today in cold hard Hollywood Squares cash, and the chance to drive away in a beautiful Buick. Which one will it be? The Skyhawk. <laughs> the Skylark. Two. Sabre? The Les Sabre! Okay, now, one of our nine celebrities has the key that will start the Les Sabre. Who are you going to choose? Show your keys, gang. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. Glenn Campbell? Glenn Campbell! Okay, in just a minute, Glenn Campbell and her key in that beautiful Les Sabre will be... Well, now, Corin has chosen Glenn Campbell as hers a key celebrity and Leslie Easterbrook and Howard Stern as her good luck celebrity. Well, this beautiful Le Sabre is at stake. Tell us about it, Howard. Okay, Shadow, the Buick Le Sabre is a contemporary aerodynamic automobile with six-passenger comfort and a vacation-sized trunk. It's the great American family car Le Sabre, furnished by Buick. Thank you, Howard Stern. It's worth $17,160. Good luck on the count of three. We'll find out. Help me out here. One, two, two, three. Party Party contestants will receive the ball. And here's your host in his Sears Northridge wardrobe, Shadow Steve. Boy, oh, the pressure. Vicky, pick a square. <laughs> Glenn Campbell to block. Glenn Campbell. <laughs> Glenn, how about a little rhinestone cowboy? Okay. Glenn, now for the block. All right. In the Old West, if you rode into town too tough to die, if you rode into the town too tough to die, oh, wow. would you be in Death Valley, New Mexico, Dodge City, Oklahoma, or Tombstone, Arizona? I've heard of every one of them but Death Valley, New Mexico. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you're riding into the town too tough to die, then obviously you would be still living, and it is still living today. And believe me, I live in Phoenix, so I know the answer to this question. It's uh -huh. Tombstone, Arizona. He says that with such conviction and verve. Joie de vivre. Vicky, uh, what do you think? I agree. You uh, got it, Vicky. He agrees, we got it. <laughs> Tombstone, Arizona, circle gets the square. Nate, pick a square. And Vicky, you've won $1,200 today <laughs> and a chance to drive away in a beautiful Buick. Which one will it be? The Skyhawk. The Skylark Coupe. The Regal. The Skylark Sedan. All of the Shaper. The 
Dulles Sabre. Dulles Sabre. Okay, one of our, hold up those keys. One of our nine celebrities has the key that will start the Le Sabre. Who are you going to choose, hmm? Michael Winslow. Michael Winslow. Okay. Stars as our good luck celebrities and this beautiful Le Saber. Tell us about it, Howard. Thank you, Swallow Shadow. Here it is. The Buick Le Saber is a contemporary. I'm lost in Zaza's hair. The Buick Le Saber is a contemporary aerodynamic automobile with six passenger comfort and a vacation size trunk. It's the great American family car, Le Saber, furnished by Buick, honey. <laughs> okay, the Le Saber is worth $17,160. Good luck on the count of three. Help me out here. Okay, Swallow. One. <laughs> Two and three. Oh, I'm sorry, but you have won $1,200, and you can come back next week. We'll have a chance to win more. Try one of these beautiful Buicks. We'll see you Monday when our guest stars will be from her hit Broadway show, Joan Rivers. From his HBO series, first and ten, John Mulroney. From the Broadway stage, Anthony Newley. From the Northwest corner, Jim J. Bullock. From his video, sweating to the oldies, Richard Simmons. From professional baseball, Gold Glove winner, Steve Garvey. From TV's Young and the Restless, Tom Beard. From the comedy stage, Jimmy Walker. And me, I'm Shadow Stevens. Maggie Squares, we'll see you Monday on the all-new Hollywood Squares. John will be back. Goodbye. On the party party contestants, we'll receive the following. Dick Cotto is always on the cutting edge of fashion and design, offering up to the minute styling and exceptional quality. Dick Cotto. And Extra Trim helps control your appetite all day, including the cheating hours. Extra Trim 16 hour, late day, and maximum strength helps you beat the cheating hours. And it's glitz, it's glamour, it's Beverly Hills Manor. Introducing Trey LA from Impulse, the very new fragrance that's LA inside out. And Genuine Vaseline, the petroleum jelly that heals, soothes, and protects rough, dry skin. Vaseline Petroleum Jelly, your skin's best friend. <laughs> It's a life-and-death situation when the Enterprise tries to negotiate with an unfriendly planet for the release of their crew members. Don't miss Star Trek The Next Generation, tonight at 9, only on 19XIX.